Hello everybody, welcome to a new Roblox Studio scripting tutorial. So from the other video we did some stuff on click detectors and on this video um, we will be doing more stuff about click detectors. So if you haven't seen that video, um, I recommend to go see it if you're not too familiar with how to use click detectors. But in this video, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing more stuff on click detectors. So if you don't have this open, just go to view and then click both of these. And then after that, um, um, so I'll show you how this part works here with the click detector. So this is just loading. Okay, so this was from another tutorial, but I'll be showing you this part. So as you can see, if we click on the part, it turns green, and then after, when we put our mouse like out of the part, it turns back to its default color. So this is how it works, basically. It's pretty simple, and I'll be showing you how to do this script so okay so what you have to do is just so I'm gonna delete this part so I can show you how to make it so just insert a part um, you can size it to however you want um, just press scale if you wanna size it it's up here so I'm just gonna make it a really big block um, just like a big cube, like this, I guess. No, nope, that's too big. Okay, yeah, that's fine, I guess. So what you're going to do is add in a script, and then add in a click detector. So once you do that, um, you'll probably see this script thing open. If it doesn't, just double-click on this. Um, yeah, so now um, we're going to start with scripting. So just to delete the default code that shows up and we're going to start doing some variables. So local part equals script dot parent. So you can name the part to what you want. I'm just going to keep it as part. And what this does is basically it just um, tells the script that this is the part. So the script's parent. So local cd equals script dot parent dot click detector. So that's basically just the click detector inside of the part. And now we will do a function. So cd dot mouse click connect function and then player. Oh, okay, player. So just copy what I'm writing if you're following along with the tutorial and then hit enter. And then after, what you're going to do is change the part's brick color. So just type in part.brickcolor equals brickcolor.new. And then do forest green. Oh, okay, sorry about that. So once you do that, um, just copy this function. And then after that, go down here and then paste it. And then what you want to do is change mouse click to mouse hover leave so this is when the um like the mouse leaves the part as you saw before in the video so instead of changing the parts brick color to forest green we're going to change it to medium stone gray which is the default um part color so I'm just going to test this to see if it works. And then let's see if it works fine. There we go. And then we leave. It turns to the default color. So I hope you enjoyed this um, scripting tutorial. Feel free to... Um, watch the other scripting tutorial and yeah so have a good day and yeah see ya and before we end the video 
I'm just gonna do one more thing. So you don't have to change the parts of red color, you can also just do this to make it a little more interesting or something like that. So I'm just gonna do this. Um, okay. And as you can see, when we click on the part, it does this, and when we leave, it does that. It's pretty cool, and, oh, it's kind of broken, but, yeah, but, okay, yeah, so, bye-bye, have a good day, and stay safe, bye.